After watching this video, you will be able to know what is call home, how to configure call home feature through Unified Computing System Manager, how to create customized call home user profile, how to create call home policies, and understand how to trigger an inventory call home messages. Okay, so first, what is call home? Call home is a feature which provides an email based notifications of any critical system events. Colum delivers alerts to the multiple recipients that you can configure in your destination profile. You can also configure the call home to generate a service request with a Cisco tag. Colum alert messages contains the information about the diagnostics and environmental faults and events. This is a like proactive support capability which is provided at no additional cost when you have an uh, active unified computing support service or mission critical support service contract. Now, how to configure the call home feature using the UCS manager. So in under UCS manager, select your admin tab, select call home options under communications management, click on general tab. By default state is off to enable the service. Click on on, select your service switch priority and throttling level, provide the contact information. So provide your contact name, phone number, email address and your address. Provide your customer ID. So this is your Cisco CCO ID that includes the contract numbers for the support contract. Provide the contract ID. So this is your call home contract number. Site ID. This is unique call home identifications number for each customer site. Provide the email address from field and to field. Provide the SMTP server information, uh, your SMTP host name or the IP address and provide the SMTP port detail and click on the save changes. Once you configure your call home feature, now you need to configure your call home profile. So call home profile is like basically used to determine which alert groups and recipients receive the email alerts for events that occur at a specific severity. By default, you must configure the Cisco tech dash one profile. You can also create the additional profiles to send the email alerts. So click on your profile step this is right next to the general tab. Select your Cisco Tech-1 profile. Right click on that one. Select the recipient options and provide the recipient email address. If you want to create any additional profile, click on the plus sign. Provide the profile name. Select the type of the label. So this is your Cisco UCS false that are greater than or equal to this label. Trigger the profile select the alert groups so this is the like group or the multiple groups that are alerted based on this call home profile email configurations so that you can select either format like xml full text format or the short text format maximum message size by default it is 1 million but maximum you can provide 5 million for the recipient click on the plus sign and provide the recipient information and click ok and then click ok once you configure your profile, now next step is to configure your call home policies. So call home policies basically determine whether or not call home alerts are sent for the specific type of the fault or the system events. So by default call home is enabled to send the alerts for the certain types of the faults and system events. To disable the alerts for the type of the faults or the events, you must create the call home policy for that type and then disable that particular policy. So to configure your call home policy, click on call home policies tab right next to the profiles. Click on your plus button. Select the state whether you want to enable or disable and select the cost type. So this is the select this particular event that triggers the alert. Each policy defines whether an alert is sent for one type of the events and click on OK. Now the last step is how to trigger the call home inventory message. Click on the system inventory tab and you can se se select this option send a system inventory now or you can select the properties whether you want where at particular interval you want to send. So for that one you can click on um, send periodically on and provide the interval days, hours and the minute information and click save changes. Once you configure all this, you can, you can generate the inventory email 
and this is an example of the inventory email for more information you can go to the www.cisco.com forward slash go forward slash smart call home thanks for watching this video